fish for fish fishery. I figured I'd go ahead and show you my latest acquisition. Um, I had my uh, F450 2000 model um, Ford with the utility bag and the lighter rack and had an opportunity to pick up this truck so I wound up selling the, the F450 and getting this one. It's a F250, it's a 2002 model, it still has the 7.3 in it though. Um, I don't know, I think I'd be hard pressed to, to talk into a 6.0. I mean they're decent motors if you do what's necessary to them, but I don't know, I'm still privy to the 7.3. Um, tires are pretty good on it. Right? And I'm not going to be keeping the flat bag. I mean, it's a nice bag, but I'd rather have a utility box or a regular bag, to be honest with you guys. So, bag's up for sale. Beyond that, it's a not bad truck for a 4x4, though. It sits kind of low, in my opinion. I don't know why, but... I mean, it feels like it sat at the same height my old 4x4 F250 sat at. But, I don't know. So, there might be a, either a small lift or leveling kick in the future for this truck. I do plan on fixing this up, the finger and the headlights and this bumper is obviously seen its better days. This truck actually uh, was used to pull horse trailers on the ranch with, so I think like I feel like I either a horse or something got into the bumper and the finger there at one point. So, because I'm looking at change tonight, I'm honestly thinking about just upgrading this whole front end to like an old 507 spec. Not a bad truck overall, honestly, though. More miles than which spot had. I think it's pushing 300,000 on the body and I think only 200,000 on the motor. Um, I don't know what was with my F450, but this thing fires up so much easier than the 450 ever did. Uh, here's the interior, a little messy, but. Um, last time I had a truck with this nice of an interior was, I had a little, uh, I had a green F250 with the V10. And I can't remember if that one was leather interior or not. Unfortunately, I can't give you guys a cold start. This truck's only been sitting for maybe two hours. Maybe. And it's a little warmer out today than it has been, but I'll still give you a start up. Oops. That would be my horn. This is the home of real Make a little plug light to go out. That's about how it always starts up. It doesn't do the uh, spit and sputter when it's cold like my F450 did. So I'm kind of impressed. That's obviously the tow mirrors, power windows, power mirrors, uh, the automatic headlights. I guess it's got a fog light position too. Which, oh, there it is. I just now figured out how to turn my fog lights on though. But. Uh, the slightly upgraded factory radio. You see, um, I need to switch out the blend door actuator over there in the glove box. I'll probably do a video on that for you guys when I get to it. But uh, it's got some other things it needs. I need to do the ball joints in the near future and maybe get the batteries tested. I mean, it fires up okay. I just notice when it's cold, it uh, seems like the batteries take a harder hit. Give her a short rep for you. Yeah, I don't get as much of a turbo one in this thing either, so... I'm wondering if maybe my 450 just had a boost leak or something. Show you the under the hood and we'll wrap this video up.
piece of shit. I mean, honestly, I've been getting pretty... This is, I think, as close to a drain truck as I'm going to get. I mean, I think the only other thing I'd really wish that this thing would have would be a six-speed, but... To find one, like, in the, in, like, a crew cab long bay, I know they're around, but they're just so hard to find, so, and I do a lot more city driving anymore anyway, and I know having a manual transmission can kind of be a pain in the butt when it comes to that, but I mean, it is a diesel 4x4, I mean, shoot, even the 4x4 works, I forgot to show you guys that part. But this is it. I mean, it needs a windshield. It needs ball joints. So, I feel like the steering box might have a little bit of play in it. I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not sure if you guys saw the miles on this thing either. Or if you can even read it. It's like 293, I think it says. Yeah, 293 and some change. That's on the body, and she, uh, the guy didn't have the paperwork, but she said the motor only has like maybe 200,000 on it now. So, which for you guys know, for a 7.3, if it's been maintained, it's nothing. So, yeah, this is it. And I mean, that's just the biggest impression I had. I mean, I test drove this thing while I still had the F450 and accelerated a lot better than the 450 did and just started easier too. And, I mean, I'm not dogging on my 450. I love that thing. It's just either based on how heavy that truck was or maybe a boost leak. I don't know. But this is the new truck. I think I'll give you guys a walk around a bit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the ball joints myself or just let it go to a shop. Um, I haven't yet to decide on that. Just I know those ball joints are a pain. And, I don't know, I think part of me is getting older, but there's just some repairs I'd rather have a shop do. Um, unless I, t I can do it, but I know having a shop do those things are pretty freaking expensive. But I do plan on updating the front end, since eventually I do plan on replacing that finger, the bumper, the grill, etc. Eventually do a windshield and uh, replace the flatbed and... I don't know about after that. I mean, I'm pretty happy with the way this thing's set up. I really don't want to do too much more to it. I mean, I'm sure maybe someone could talk me into, like, a touchscreen display, but I've never liked messing with aftermarket radios. Um, but this is it. Uh, new truck. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep calling it Spot. Um, I don't know. I might be sure if I'll call it Spot or something else or just leave it without a name. But this is it. Well, uh, hope you guys are having a great day, week, weeknight, whatever time it is, wherever you happen to be. And I'll catch you on the next video.